Scale Modelers, welcome to a kit review from the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. This is the Ravel Monogram 50 Ford Custom Pickup in 125th scale, kit number 85-2494. Let's have a look at the box art for this model kit. We will then move to opening the box, showing the contents of the kit, and then take a deep dive into each individual sprue. This kit review, along with all others I produce, are to be informative to you, the viewer, to help you decide if the current prices you are seeing for this kit are worth it. Let's go through the box quickly and then deep dive into the contents. For products that I use to suit my building needs, along with my airbrush setup, this information and links can be found in the description below of this video. Let's start our deep dive with the instruction manual. The first page of the instruction manual gives a typical Revell excerpt of the one-to-one -one version of the model you are about to build, along with some other interesting information. Revell's instructions, for the majority, starts with building and assembling the engine, which has some nice tri-power carbs here. Step two, the entire interior is built and assembled. This bench would be great for a Mexican blanket. Step four is the rear suspension assembly, which includes the rear axle, leaf springs, shock absorbers, and the exhaust. Step five, the radiator, engine, and drive shaft are installed into the chassis. Step seven, the cab along with the remaining parts of the body are installed onto the chassis. Step eight is all remaining final assembly, including the grill, the wood risers, if you are so declined to build and install. The final step is the decal placement on the model. Deep diving into the kit, let's continue with the decals. This is a good size sheet with these two tone decals to use on the body. The Moon Eyes and Clay Smith decals make a nice touch for the decal sheet. With the tires, I do a squeeze test, and these are definitely made of a harder plastic and not rubber compared to other kits. You can see the placement of where the white wall plastic ring would go on the tire for assembly. Overall, a good looking tread. I just wish these tires were not as hard as they are, but it could be due to the years that have passed since the kit was released. The clear glass tree gives you the front windshield, rear window, and side windows including the vents. There are nice outlines for the windows and side vents that will make it easier for you to use bare metal foil, silver sharpie, or Molotov chrome pens if you choose to do a chrome trim. The red clear tree has just two small lights which are the rear tail lights. The kit has a single chrome sprue tree. On the dog dishes we see Ford inscribed on them which is a nice touch. To the left is the rear view dash mirror and chrome door handles. To the right we have the bigger dog dishes with no inscription. The Arden flatheads are nicely detailed with the name Arden which can be easily read. The grill being open in this mold is a nice touch by Ravel. The first white sprue we have features the engine, exhaust, front and rear leaf springs. The radiator is a standard 50s radiator and the headers help make the 6 cylinder flathead come alive. The front axle appears to have a 3 inch drop on it from the looks compared to other Revell kits like the 29 and 30 model A's. There is some nice wood grain effect for the wood risers that can help the build come alive. This is a great option to weather. The 
next sprue we can find the interior door cards, bench seat, steelies including the spare, dash, firewall, steering wheel, side fenders, and other parts. The steelies are nicely detailed and give a nice ridge for a small drill bit to create a hole for a valve stem to bring the steelies to be more realistic for the build if you so choose. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit that notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows viewers like you to do for free and it helps content creators like me produce more quality content for all of you. The final part sprue includes the interior plate, chassis, and the remainder of the body parts where they can be found. There's a nice Ford insignia on the front. Just like the wood grain risers, the wood bed has a nice texture grain as well. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button and comment below if you've built this kit and any issues you had along the way. Here are the white wall inserts for the tires. If done right, these will look great and even better than the white wall decals we see in other Revell kits like the 49 Mercury Special Edition. For the body and hood, this is the first time I have seen them molded like this on the same sprue. I think a little more thought could have been done to not waste the styrene in the middle and have these two pieces just pop out of the mold with no linkage like we see in other kits. Overall, the wood has some mold lines that needs to be removed and sink marks that need to be removed under the hood if you choose. The cab has a good amount of mold lines and may take some time to remove. Just be careful as the mold lines do associate with some of the body window lines and we don't want to remove that detail. The kit overall is great for an intermediate to advanced builder with the skill level 2 reveal associated it with. 